It's out, baby. It's official. Ain't no more guessing. Ain't no more wondering. Ain't no more leaks. No, the Baltimore Ravens' full entire schedule is out. So fans can start officially planning what games they going to now. They ain't got to wonder, all right, when is this game going to be? Where is it going to look? No, you know now so you can start buying them tickets. And, hey, if you're going, buy them early. Because the better that the Baltimore Ravens are doing, and especially the better the other teams are doing too, then prices going to go up. And regardless, in my opinion, it's better to get them now rather than later because then prices going to skyrocket. But how y'all feeling about the schedule? How you like it? Put it in the comment section. You think the schedule is fair? You think it's great? You think it's terrible? Or you just like me? You like, hey, we got a schedule, so now we know, so I'm good with whatever. Or are you like Kyle Hamilton? Because he put, man, three games in 10 days. Woo. So, woo, that's a lot. That's that's a lot, lot. So it, it's tough. It, we knew that going in that the Baltimore Ravens were going to have a tough schedule since they had tough opponents. They got the second toughest schedule in the league. And it starts off tough, like, from the gate. And we're going to talk about that shortly. Uh, but let me know how you're feeling about this Baltimore Ravens official schedule out now in the comments section. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out us a lot and it helps you out a lot with your YouTube. So... Before we get into the schedule, let's look at some of these games because the Ravens, they have five primetime games. And that's a lot. That lets the NFL, that's the NFL letting you know, like, hey, we know that you could bring it. We know you could bring in some revenue. We know you could bring some excitement uh, to our business. Um, and we know that you're going to bring in some money for us. So we putting you in the spotlight for the world to see. So I like it. Y'all know I'm a big fan of primetime games for the Baltimore Ravens for sure. But now on top of that, so the, the only teams with more primetime games than the Ravens are the Dallas Cowboys. No surprise there. Um, the San Francisco 49ers. I would figure they would be about the same. I mean, they only got one more. But then uh, the New York Jets. The New York Jets. Like, I know they got Aaron Rodgers. I know NFL had high hopes for that team last year, but then Aaron Rodgers got hurt on a second series of the very first game, and I think it was on Monday Night Football, which completely ruined their season. But, yeah, they got more primetime games than the Ravens? Okay, cool, whatever. But, again, the difference is only one primetime game. Ravens got five. Those three teams, they have six. And then on top of that, well, this includes the primetime games. The Ravens have seven Seven nationally televised games. That's a lot. So you ain't even got to find no stream to watch them games, man. So y'all are going to be good. That's going to be fun. And let's just go through those nationally televised games. And again, they will include the primetime games as well. Then we'll talk about the entire schedule in a bit. Uh, so, of course, the opener. Their uh, the week one, and it's not only a week one game against the Chiefs. It's their week one game, our week one game. But it's their literal, literal the first game of the season. So everybody's first game that they will be watching. And they put the Baltimore Ravens in that slot. Of course, the Chiefs go there because they're the Super Bowl champions. But the Ravens are in that spot. That says a lot about how the NFL feels about the Baltimore Ravens. It obviously says a lot about how they feel about this matchup and all the eyes that it will bring in. Because to kick off the season, you want to kick off the season right. So they like, all right, hey, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, we know y'all bringing in the bread. Let's get him. I love it. Uh, and then they got a, a Sunday night football game against the Bills, against the Bills. And that's going to be in Baltimore because the KC game is away. The Buffalo Bills game is in Baltimore Sunday Night Football. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, they always both be making a crazy amount of plays, both a phenomenal play. So, yeah, that NFL knew what they was doing with that one. Now, Monday Night Football against the Bucks. So, okay, okay. That was a game that I had originally, initially, Thought about going to because we went to the the, the, the last uh, Bucks and Ravens game a couple years ago where Lamar Jackson defeated Tom Brady again. And Lamar Jackson is undefeated against Tom Brady. But we talk about that another time. But um, I, I was like, oh, yeah, it's right up the road. Make the little drive up. But then I saw it on Monday Night Football. So I might just be sitting my behind right here at the crib. Uh, but anyway, um, they also have the Bengals at the crib. Uh, and that is a – what day is that on? That's either that, – I think that's a Thursday night football game against the Bengals. Then they have the Chargers away. Um, that is a Sunday night football game. So that should be – no, that's a Monday night football game. So that should be fun. And they also got the Steelers um, on December 21st. That's 4 – oh, that's 4.30 p.m. That's the nationally televised game. And they got the Texans on December 25th on Christmas Day. 
Um, and that's at four thirty. Now with that one, with the Texans, they um two years in a row. I, so this is like a little trend for the Baltimore Ravens. They're playing two games in a, in a year on Christmas. So I'm cool with that because I, I I'm watching the Ravens play whenever. I don't care what day it is. Um, but for them to have two away games in a row on Christmas, like you'd have thought the NFL would switch it up a little bit. Like maybe all right. This year, Ravens, okay, last year, Ravens was away. This year, let them be at the crib. Well, the NFL said, no, okay, all right, hey. <laughs> Texans, don't blame the Ravens for what they do to you because it's personal for, the, for them. But, yeah, this, this, is, this is nice. But at the same time, um, a lot of these, as far as their primetime games, um, a lot of them are away. It's, it's, it's pretty lopsided. But let's get into the schedule. So, again, we talked about week one is to open against the Chiefs on September 5th. Um, then week two, that's their home opener, Baltimore Ravens home opener against the Raiders. Uh, week three um, is against the Cowboys. So that's – I don't know why they didn't have that game on their nationally televised list because that game will be nationally televised. If you are a Cowboys fan, even if you're not a Cowboys fan, but Cowboys fans, you ain't even got to have a TV to watch all the Cowboys games because America will show you a way to watch those Dallas Cowboys because – yeah, it don't, it don't matter. You ain't got to have Sunday Ticket. You ain't got to have YouTube TV. You ain't got to have no stream. You're going to find Dallas Cowboys will be somewhere. They, they will be somewhere where you see them no matter what. But that should be a fun game against them. Uh, then, of course, we talked about uh, the week four game, Sunday Night Football against the Bills. Uh, the following week uh, is against the Bengals. That's an away game. That's at 1 p.m. week five. Week six uh, uh, is a home game against the Commanders. So pretty much a home game for the Commanders, too, since they're right up the road. They ain't got to travel far. Uh, and then eight days later, that's when we got the Monday Night Football game against the Bucks. Uh, then the following week is another away game, six days later against the Browns. That's a 1 p.m. game. Uh, then Sunday, November 3rd. That's a special day. That's me and my wife's 12-year wedding anniversary. Uh, that game is against the Broncos at the crib. Uh, and then four days later, four days later, they play – the Bengals, yeah, Thursday night football against the Bengals, and that's at the crib. So two years straight, you got the Bengals at the crib for Thursday night football. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, and then ten days after that, because you know when you got Thursday night football, you get a ten day break. Then they play the Steelers, so division games, and then uh, Monday night football. So eight days after that game in Week Twelve, they go against the Chargers and the Hall Bowl. That should be fun, you know, especially Monday night football. ESPN be doing all them little animations and stuff. So that should be cool. Uh, and then six days later, you go against the Eagles. Uh, you get a tiny bit of rest in there because it's a four twenty five p.m. game instead of one p.m. I know that don't make much of a difference, but it's, it, it is what it is. So that that'll be fine though. But um, that's December first. Then they got their bye week in week fourteen. Their bye week is really late this year. But uh, me, I think it's a good thing because. With the bye week being late, that's like one last real reset, recharge before all right, all systems go. It's time. Hey, playoffs right around the corner. Let's get this last little reset, this little recharge before that's it. And, and hopefully a couple weeks after that, uh, early in January, you have another bye week. Because that would mean you got the number one seed. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what happens. Uh, so after the bye week, coming out of the bye week, they play the Giants in week 15 uh, in New York. And with this game... Um, Lamar Jackson Gotta get revenge man I always talk about how you, you can't get revenge from Games that happened in previous seasons But this one This one's different for me Because Lamar Jackson as we know Against the NFC This dude been playing since 2018 Then the second half of the 2018 season at that But ever since 2018 This guy ha has only lost one game One game Against NFC opponents One Literally one Against NFC opponents One That's it like, when you really think about that, that's crazy. That, that's cra one game. And that game was a couple years ago against the Giants. And that's when the Baltimore Ravens, they had it. It was uh, locked up. They were set. And they just said, you know what? We're going to squander this lead. And that, that was the year they were squandering a bunch of leads. But they were like, oh, yeah, well, whatever. And then they just threw the game away. Let it slip through there. And it was just sad to see. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I want them to just destroy the Giants that day. Uh, but anyway, uh, six days later, they played the Steelers uh, week 16. Um, that's a Saturday game uh, at 430. And then the following week, uh, four days later. Oof! wow. 
this was the this was the stretch that Kyle Hamilton was talking about. The three day three three games in ten days. Because Sunday, December fifteenth, six days later, you play on the twenty first. Then four days later, uh, you play on the twenty fifth. Ooh, ooh, that's brutal. Oh, that is a brutal stretch right there. Wow. And you going against like. The Giants, they got that crazy pass rush. So Ravens offensive line, I mean, Ravens offensive line got to be on point regardless. But you go against the Steelers, and you know, like, that's going to be a physical game. And I know NFL ain't as physical as it once was, but that's going to be a physical game. Ooh. And then four days later, you go against the Texans. You go against the Texans in a away game, too. So, again, it's, it's like two years in a row for the Baltimore Ravens. Again, they, they are away. Uh, on December 25th games. Uh, but then to wrap it up in the to-be-determined game, because, you know, this, these are always division games. These are the last game of the season. NFL leaves these games for Week 18 to be determined so they can schedule the schedule to make it the most interesting for the viewers because they're going to put the games that matter the most uh, the later on in the day and the games that matter the least early on in the day uh, for Week 18. Um, so and that their last game is against the Cleveland Browns. So they finish it out uh, against Cleveland. So used to them finishing their seasons against the Steelers uh, and also uh, Bengals a couple years ago, too. But this year it's against Cleveland. So that's Baltimore Ravens schedule in a nutshell. It, ooh, it, it's tough because, again, like you look at from from jump. Ra Ravens can't they can't slip around. They can't mess around, man, because from jump you start off slow. Ooh, you can recover, but you don't want to start off slow. Because, again, you go against the Chiefs. Then you go against the Raiders. Then you go against the Cowboys and the Bills and the Bengals. So, them, them first five weeks, it, they going to be tough, man. So, then, and ain't no disrespect to none of the other teams, but, man, like, you, you got to bring it from jump. So, Baltimore Ravens with this schedule. I mean, really, with any schedule, you don't want to start slow. But certainly with this one, you're going against some heavy hitters from jump. So we'll see how our boys do. But let me know how y'all feeling about this schedule. How you liking this schedule? You like it? You like, oh, yeah, let's go. I love it. Or do you hate it? You like, man, this schedule sucks, man. Why the NFL do the Ravens like that? Or you just like, you know what? As long as we watching Ravens football, that puts a smile on my face. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and leave a like on the video because it helps out a ton. I love you. I hope you all having a great, amazing, excellent, wonderful day. Happy NFL schedule release. Well, a day later.